Hey, this is Angela Carter with EarnMoneyWithAngela.com. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're looking for some tips and some strategies on how to make money with affiliate programs. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can immediately identify um, a group of hungry buyers who would be interested in buying your product or service that you are marketing as an affiliate marketer. So if you wanna learn how to identify a group of people who are already hungry, who are already looking for what it is that you are promoting or selling as an affiliate marketer, then you want to grab a pen and a piece of paper because I'm gonna share with you some tips that can help you identify those group of hungry buyers. Now, um, the key with marketing online or just marketing in general is being able to get your product or your service in front of a group of people who are most likely to buy it. And so we call this group your target market. So how do you identify? Well, I'm gonna give you an exercise that you can do right now. So if you have your pen and a piece of paper, you want to go ahead and write down the steps that I'm about to share with you because this is going to help you identify that group of hungry buyers. The first step is you wanna take a look at the product or service that you're promoting and you want to ask yourself, what are the problems that this product or service solves? What are the problems that this product or service solves? Okay, that's step one. Step two is you wanna take a look at all of those problems because you might have more than one, right? You wanna take a look at all of those problems and ask yourself, who has these problems? Who experiences these problems? Okay, that's step number two. Step number three is of the problems that you've identified in step one, which one must be solved by your target market, by those people that you've identified in step two? So again, step three is, of the problems that we've identified in step one, which of these problems must be solved by the people that you've identified in step two? And what you wanna do is you wanna identify that problem that your target market, the people that you've identified in step two, you wanna find that problem that that target market would pay anything to solve. That problem that keeps your target market up at night. Okay, because here's the deal. You can identify your target market. You can identify the group of hungry buyers who are interested and who want and already know that they want and need what it is that you are selling and promoting as an affiliate. But you have to not only get that product in front of them, but you have to know how to promote it and how to position it. And that's where step three comes in, is by really highlighting for them that problem that they would pay anything to solve, that problem that keeps them up at night. So you say, well, okay, how do I find out what that problem is? How do I know that? Well, you know that by that problem that they're, they're willing to pay anything to solve, it's typically and usually a problem that they must solve to make their goals attainable. So what problem makes their goals unattainable? Okay, and that will give you that key problem, that key frustration, that key challenge that your target market is having that you can then bring up in your marketing to really properly position your product or service, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say that I'm an affiliate uh, marketer and I'm selling a uh, blogging course on how to do search engine optimization, which basically means how to get your content online uh, positioned in front of people who are already searching Google for that particular information that you are sharing in your content, okay? That's like a very basic beginner's uh, way of explaining what search engine optimization is okay so let's say I'm selling a course on for bloggers on that well I would go through this process I would go step one what problem does learning search and en search engine optimization solve well it solves the problem one problem is traffic helping people helping bloggers get their website ranked on the first page of Google and it helps them get more visitors to their site because they're able to use the keywords that people are searching for online they're able to use those words in their on their blog, in their blog post, to get positioned in front of those people to bring them to their site. So it helps them get visitors, get traffic. Well, that's a problem, right? Well, step two is, okay, well, we already know that this is a blogging course for bloggers, right? So let's just say that it was just a search engine optimization course and we didn't even know it was for bloggers. Let's just say it's a search engine optimization course for anyone who wants to learn how to do search engine optimization. Well, that would be step number two would be, okay, who could use this information? Well, it could be business owners, right? Um, business owners who are marketing online. It could be bloggers. It could be affiliate marketers. It could be network marketers. It could be home-based business owners. A lot of people could use this information. So you would have multiple different target markets and you can pick which one that you want to pursue. But the key is framing 
the product, positioning the product that you have, and that's step number three. So in this case, um, we were talking about you know, which problem keeps them up at night, which problem would they pay anything to solve. And for bloggers who don't have any traffic, that would be one of those problems. Why is that? Why is traffic, why would traffic be one of those problems that they would pay anything to solve? Well, it makes their other goals unattainable. And how do I know that? Well, you want to look at what are your goals of the, tar of the target market that you picked. What do they want to accomplish? And bloggers want typically want to get their content viewed in front of a lot of people. And they have to keep asking, well, why? Why do they want traffic? Well, they want traffic so they can maybe generate leads, get people on their list. Why do they want a list? Well, because they want to be able to promote and sell products. Why do they want to sell products? Because they want to make money. Why do they want to make money? Well, they want to make money so that they are able to make an income to be able to maybe quit their job or to be able to work from home permanently or to be able to have time freedom and work wherever they, they want to in any location, okay? So really what they want is the lifestyle that they were looking for when they decided to become a blogger, right? So then what you wanna ask yourself then is if they don't get traffic, will not having traffic and not having visitors to their website, will that make their goal of having that dream lifestyle unattainable and it would because they need traffic to get leads and they need leads to get sales and they need sales to make money and to have the lifestyle that they want so I hope that that example helped you figure out who that target market is for your particular product or service that you're promoting as an affiliate the key to making money as an affiliate marketer with affiliate programs is identifying that group of hungry buyers who are already who already know that they need or want what it is that you have to offer and being able to position your product or service in front of them in a way that shows them that your product or service can solve a major problem that they are currently experiencing. So if you want to learn how to make money with affiliate programs and you want to earn while you learn, I want you to go to earnmoneywithangela.com. Again, that's earnmoneywithangela.com. Hope this video is helpful to you and thank you for watching. Bye.